hey, you guys. Uh, remember when we talked about how Jar Jar Banks is secretly yeah. like a Sith Lord and it's actually amazing? Yeah, uh, I thought we should watch the entire Star Wars Holiday Special and find what's good about it. No one defends the Star Wars Holiday Special ever. That's why I've locked the doors of this room and we're gonna watch it. This oh, seems this. mean. Yeah. This is when there wasn't too much Star Wars already. Like you didn't have yeah. VHS or anything so you couldn't watch Star Wars in your house. This yeah. is all the Star Wars you got. Right. There had been one movie out, and that's it. And there's no there right. droids cartoon. There's none of that stuff. No. So yeah. this is the yeah. best. It's because it's more Star Wars. Who doesn't like more Star Wars? Right. So these opening credits, I really like what they did with, like, they introduce everyone as uh, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. Like, you get the actor's name as the person. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. The but voice they of get James to, Earl Jones, because we're just reusing yeah. footage from the movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But but when they get to R2-D2, they credit it as R2-D2. R2-D2 as R2-D2. Kenny Baker's in the special, like the actor. They, they could have credited the actor. Do we know that Kenny Baker's actually in the garbage can in this? Yeah, I let, Wikipedia says it's actually him. Like oh, wow. He, he was in this. So he didn't even get a credit. That's a right, image. but that preserves some magic for children. Like children watching TV get to still think R2-D2 is like actually a robot. You know, yeah, I think that's don't a fun worry. decision. The, the, the that's a good job. The subsequent 90 minutes will take care of any <laughs> residual magic that might right. have still been clinging to their young minds. So this is a TV special in 1978, and they managed to get Bea Arthur from it's Maud a... and eventually Golden Girls. You got Art Carney from The Honeymooners, one of the biggest shows ever. Harvey Corman from Carol Burnett Show and Blazing right, Saddles. Blazing Saddles. Like, and Harrison Ford from Star Wars. Right. From Star Wars. I feel like that it's is a, a solid variety show lineup and all three of those actors just slide seamlessly into the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I know we're, we're trying not to do this but... We're finding things that might be good about this. Mm. Okay, in the first ten minutes where it's just three people in bear costumes <laughs> screaming at each other yes. with, with no, no subtitles of any kind. Yeah. The set looks alright. It's definitely a groovy okay. bungalow. Okay, alright, let's we're, we're getting, you know, you're right, you're right. Getting those, off track. Those, it's a groovy Wookiee bungalow. It's a groovy Wookiee it's like, bungalow. And it's like filmed okay. Yeah. They, and like the mat, look that matte painting of the of the treehouse, that's all right. They already okay. they already kind of figured this out, right? Because we're on Chewbacca's home planet, right? Which is Kashyyyk or... Which Kashyyyk you don't, or Kashyyyk, whatever. You don't maybe. actually see it until episode three, which wasn't until 2005, like... Ugh. 30 years later? They had to build, they were doing a lot of universe building yeah. with the whole thing. It looks That's another much point. That, yeah, this is the first legitimate piece of universe building for Star Wars. They didn't yeah, really yeah. know what it was yeah. yet, because it was only a year old at this point. All anybody knew was like, whoa, this Star Wars is a big hit. And I don't think anybody really understood why yet, because it wasn't yeah, part yeah. of like some trilogy yet. Like they didn't add the whole episode four. A New Hope subtitle to Star Wars until like 81. Right, it was just called Star Wars. Right. Yeah. As far as universe building, this introduces Boba Fett. This is this holiday Boba special. Fett. Nobody right. gives this thing credit for yeah. it. This is the Boba Fett adventure you all want. This yeah, he is actually it. does Like, stuff. he talks, he, go, he does things. This is, you're like, oh, we need a Boba Fett movie. The Boba Fett movie is in a cartoon that introduces the character in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Riding on you didn't a, know on that. A, he's riding on a, on a dragon when he's introduced. Yeah, yeah that's... like a purple liquid dragon. The dragons are cool. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. nowadays, you know? I mean, so much of the character they already figured out for this cartoon, it's really strange. Like, even like the small detail, like he's got the little like Wookiee braid. Yeah. I mean, his yeah. colors aren't exactly the same, but like, his characterization and like his voice and everything, they, I mean, they pretty much nailed Boba Fett like right out of the gate. So, so Art Carney from Honeymooners has a shop, and we're seeing an Imperial employee, on like on their off time, like on their vacation day, like hanging out, checking stuff out. We never see that ever. Yeah, that's exciting to get to see like an Imperial employee. Yeah, just like what do you do when you have shore leave? Weirdly, did you notice where like they dubbed? They clearly have dubbed over the. The Imperial Troopers' lines in this with like a scary with voice. a very creepy person. <laughs> I hate fish. I did Talk say the set design was all right, but Art Carney's shop just looks like a tool shed. But parts of it light up. We're only twenty <laughs> minutes into this. Thing. Yeah. Well, Harvey Corman is doing what Harvey Corman does. He dresses as a lady in a variety special. Great. Uh, but like the lady he does in this is basically like a Hunger Games capital lady. Like it's basically oh, yeah. like he's kind of predicting. 
which I think is very clever of him. Ma was wearing an apron to right. cook. <laughs> right? like, why? With, like human utensils, as Harvey Corman instructs her to. Everything around you can wipe stuff off. And she she even looks shaggy for a Wookiee, and like that could catch on fire so easily in a stove situation. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Chewie's dad is watching a hologram. Oh, oh, we are excited, aren't we? Uh. Oh, that's porn. porn. Yeah. Okay, porn. Skip. Yeah, skipping. Skip skip skipping. 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 Oh, there we go. This is like a good. The Star Wars Holiday Special is a good character piece for Han and Chewie's relationship. Yeah, it is. Right. In this one, he's f blasting Tie Fighters, <laughs> like flying in between, like threading the needle yeah. in between Star Wars and shit, just to get Chewie home for like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. They throw <laughs> like, they throw a stormtrooper off a balcony. Yeah. Off Balcony of his house and in then front stick of Chewbacca's around. child. <laughs> Han murders a, a man in front of Chewbacca's child <laughs> yeah. to get Chewbacca home for Christmas. Right. Seeing this special makes me really appreciate Harrison Ford even more, which is an exciting thing to get to do. Like he is very, very good in this for it being what it is. Yeah, he like gives it. Like he, he shows up. You're like family to me. And like, and really makes everything about a horrible situation work purely through Han Solo magic. Yeah. Like, yeah. like at, at least as much as it could work. Possibly. They tried. Yeah. And like Han Solo is there as, as Han Solo, so it really sells like the like the space fighting stuff. It's just yeah. That's yeah. three minutes of this. So well, yeah. They, so an item on this list of great things about the holiday special. Right. Super yeah. They <laughs> tried. They tried. <laughs> okay, we're finally at Life Day. Yeah. We've made it to, to life. life. We have all the Wookiees in their creepy cult robes. Well, this is, so I think it's interesting to see any kind of Star Wars entertainment where you see people with beliefs that aren't the Force. Yeah. Like anyone, like we never find out about, because the Force is obviously tangibly provable in this universe, but like not that many people are into it. They're either just Force atheists or into it. We never see anybody who's like, no, I believe this whole other thing over here, and I'm way into it, and I have to be home for it every Excuse year. Excuse me, right. Alex, it's, it's not religion, it's... Microorganisms in your blood. Yeah, it's science. It's a. Uh, it's midichlorians. It's not. It's not this cool mystical thing that we wanted it to be. We should also give this holiday special credit for being before the prequels happened. <laughs> and with those glowing orbs, we've reached the end of a holiday special, guys. Uh, Were they blowing glass? I think we've found a lot of. Let's not think about it. I think we've found a lot of great things. Happy Life Day, everybody. When is when is Life Day? It's it's Is a it? movable feast. It's whenever you want it to be. Oh, cool! Happy, Happy life, day. life day. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the Star Wars Holiday Special with us. What do you think Life Day is? We don't know. We need we your help. We can't piece this together at all. There's they, it's a holiday. They they're, walk across space into a light, and then they're in the woods wearing yeah. robes, and then they're blowing glass in Chewie's living room.